Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through the tutorial on Integration 1 and its applications. Today's lesson we shall talk about area enclosed by the curve and the x-axis. So the area enclosed by the curve y equal to fx and the x-axis is given by the formula area equal to integral of fx with respect to x from a to b where fx is the curve so and a and b are the intercepts of the curve whereby b is greater than a as you can see here below So you can see these A and B are the intercepts of this curve and B is greater than A. So always the upper limit will be greater than this lower limit. And the area will be given by, therefore the area of the curve Y equal to FX will be given by integral of this FX from A to B with respect to X. So there are some points you need to note is that the in the value of a to b of fx with respect to x from a to b is positive. It implies that the area is above the x-axis. However, if this value is negative, it implies that the area is below the x-axis. But remember, we are interested in magnitude of the area. So that knowledge you shall go through the solution to the following problem. So problem one says, find the area enclosed by the x-axis and the curve y equal to 6x minus x squared. So in this case we are given the curve y equal to f 6x minus x squared. So this 6x minus x squared becomes our fx. The first thing to do is to get the intercepts. So when y is 0, this the whole of this becomes 0. When I factorize, I'll come up with that. And in the end, I'll get my x equal to 0 or x equal to 6. So I've got the intercepts. Now I can go ahead to get the area they want. Area is given by the formula fx which is 6x minus x squared or with respect to x from the lower the with this from the smaller intercept which is 0 to the bigger intercept which is 6 so when i integrate this i'll come up when i integrate 6x i'll come up with 3x squared integrate x squared i'll come up with a third x cubed so i put it in box brackets like we saw in the previous lesson and if this lower limit is put here the upper limit is put there next is a substitute when i substitute for x with 6 which is the upper limit i'll come up with this and when i substitute 0 the lower limit 0 in this wherever there is x i'll come up with 0 so in the end i'll get this will give me 108 and this will give me 72 and the end i'll come up with my area as 36 square units know that this value is positive meaning the area is above the x-axis. Problem 2. Find the area enclosed by the x-axis and the curve y equal to x power 4 minus 8x and explain the negative sign. So we are given the curve which is y equal to x power 4 minus 8x. The first thing is to get the intercepts. So when y is 0, the whole of this is equal to 0. And therefore, we factorize out to come up with this. And in the end, we come up with our values of x as x equal to 0. And for this one equal to 0, it implies that x will be equal to 2 root of 8, which is 2. So I've got the two intercepts. This will now become my lower limit. And this will be the upper limit.
Therefore, the area will be equal to the function which is x power 4 minus 8x with respect to x from 0 to 1. When I integrate x power 4, I come up with 1 over 5x power 5. And when I integrate 8x, I come up with 4x squared. I don't forget the box brackets and the limits. Then I'll substitute. When I, wherever there is x, I can, when I put there the upper limit 2, I'll come up with this bracket. And when I put there the lower limit 0, I'll come up with 0. Now this will give me 32 over 5, and this will give me 16. So when I subtract, I'll come up with negative 48 over 5 which can be simplified further to negative 9.6. I think we realize that now the value of our area is negative 9.6. So they told us to explain why they say the area is negative. And the area is negative because the required area is below the negative axis. Therefore, we come and conclude that the area which is required is 9.6 square units below the x axis. Remember I said we are, we are interested in the magnitude. So I think we can see that now here this negative is not there. Why? The negative was to help us know is the area below the x axis or above the x axis. So now we shall go to problem three. Problem three says that find the area enclosed by the curve y equal to x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 and the x-axis. So the first thing to do is to get the intercepts. So when y is equal to 0, the whole of this will be equal to 0. What does that mean? It means that for this equal to 0, x will be equal to negative 3. For this equal to 0, x will be equal to negative 1. And for this equal to 0, x will be equal to 2. So now this is the sketch of this curve. It is in, this, in that form. It has three intercepts. There is negative 1, there is negative 3, negative 1, and 2. So I think I see that one area is above the x-axis, another area is below the x-axis. Now this means that this area will be positive and this area will be negative. Therefore, when you are told to get the total area, you have to first integrate from negative 3 to negative 1 and get that area then also integrate from negative 1 to 2 and get this area now this will be positive this will be negative but we are interested in the magnitude so what do you do you get the magnitude of this area and add it to this area so now we shall start with the area from negative 3 to negative 1 when I integrate this function, I'll come up with a quarter x power 4 for this. Integrate this, I'll come up with 2 over 3x cubed. Integrate this, I'll come up with 5 over 2x squared. Integrate this, I'll come up with negative with 6x. Now, when I substitute the upper limit, where there is x, I, when I put there negative 1, I'll come up with 37 over 12. And when I minus, now I substitute negative 3 in this. I'll come up with negative 9 over 4. So in the end, I'll come up with 16 over 3. And that's the area from negative 1 to, neg sorry, from negative 3 to negative 1. Now I have to get the area from negative 1 to 2. So I have to integrate the so same integral, but the limits will change. So now I substitute where there is x, I put there 2 to get negative 38 over 3 minus where there is x I put there negative 1 to get 37 over 12 and when I substitute I'll come up with negative 63 over 4 I think I'll say that this area is positive this one is negative but we're interested in magnitude so we have to say 16 over 3 which is that plus the magnitude so this symbol means magnitude so magnitude of negative 63 over 4 now this magnitude symbol means what is negative becomes positive. So that is why you see here now positive 63 over 4. When I add the 2, I'll come up with 21 and 1 over 12 as my area.
now your turn to try the following problems. So that will be the expected answer, you compare your answer with that. Compare your answer with that for problem 2. Compare your answer with that for problem 3. So that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.